Hello and welcome. Version 4.7 of Capture Post introduced some great new features. This movie is going to have a look at some of them. For ages now, Capture Post has been able to print ID cards for each student as you shoot. Well, now Capture Post can automatically switch between different templates if you've got subjects needing different types of ID cards. This is really handy when teachers, for example, need a different ID card to the students. You can just keep shooting and Capture Post will use the appropriate template without you having to break stride. And if you're going to print on site, you're probably going to want to crop your images and get them just right. With version 4.7, cropping and scaling is now possible from within Capture Post itself. Simply use your mouse or keyboard to crop, scale or rotate your images as needed. We've introduced a very handy tool to find subjects within the film strip that match various search criteria. For example, if you normally take three poses per subject, you may want to find any kids where you've taken more than three shots, so you can go back and pick the best ones. In the same way, you might want to find anyone who's got less than three images, so you can get them back and take the extra shots while you're still there. Or perhaps you need to find any students that are missing an ID, or any other data for that matter. Just set any criteria you like, and then use the F8 and Shift F8 keys to search back and forth through the film strip for subjects and images that match your criteria. This girl's got four images. This guy's only got two. This guy's got the right number of poses, but he's missing an ID. In the pressure of a photo shoot, we know a photographer can sometimes forget to scan a subject barcode. And pretty soon, he'll end up shooting lots of different kids all matched to the same subject. So we've introduced a shot limit warning. Set the limit to any number of images you like. I'm going to set it to three because that's how many poses I'd normally take per student. And you can also decide whether any extra images you take over this limit will be matched or not. Shoot normally and if you exceed the limit without changing subject, Capture Post will warn you. So-called white screen technology is becoming increasingly popular. This is a third-party camera and flash system which takes two photos for you in a burst, one of which is effectively a transparency mask for the other. Capture Post now supports these images, and all you need to do is check the Use Mask Files option on the Capture Post setup. Then, as you shoot with the white screen hardware, the two images are brought together by Capture Post, giving you the subject on a clean, transparent background. We think you're going to love the new features in Capture Post. If you'd like to know more, check out the knowledge base on our website. Bye for now.